Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host with the most, your boy VX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great episode. This is going to be uh, Naruto Breakdown, episode uh, 301, The Paradox. Uh, wow, this was a really good one. Um, the last two main battles, or the last main battle, uh, the one with your boy Anoki and Gara, uh, you have these, uh, the, the, the Kage's. Um, helping them, you know, throughout the entire battle, trying to take, give them tips and tricks on how to defeat them. Um, in this one, you have the uh, old man Rage Kage, um, you know, the previous predecessor, the deceased one, obviously, with the long hair. Wow. He was trying to do the same thing, and your boy Kabuto cut that shit off, okay? Um, he was basically just taking down everybody. Uh, a little bit of backstory. Uh, that kind of scared Tamari was that um, at one point in time they let his comrades get away. He stood against an army of 10,000 men for three days and three nights. I mean, this guy is beast, okay? He also went against the Eight Tails, um, you know, you know, uh, Biju, and won as well. So this guy is no stranger to battle, fighting, you know, this, that, and the other. Um Great Rage Kage, obviously. Uh, and he had this uh, ultimate defense um, and this this ultimate move called the spear where he uses his fingers and each finger he takes down becomes stronger and stronger. Kind of reminds you of the Chidori. Kind of reminds you of uh, the lightning style uh, jutsu that your boy Kakashi uh, 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 uses. But anyway, you know, your boy Kabuto smartened up. Took away his personality so he could be completely controlled, okay? Uh, the first time we see him go completely controlled, Naruto jumps in, uses the uh, his Rasen Shuriken, you know, one of his ultimate moves, and it does nothing. Uh, this guy's ultimate defense totally just, it didn't totally deflect it. It did some damage, and it, and it almost gave them the chance that they needed uh, to capture him, but it just didn't work. Uh, so, you know, Tamari and Hub 3, uh, Winsaw uses, use it, they were completely a bust. Uh, then you had this guy called, I think his name was Bindi, and, you know, he knows the Rage Kage, I guess, personally, so he knows his abilities. He was able to use some Jutsu, Lava Rubber thing, uh, uh, uh along with the Earth Style Users wall to help deflect some of this. Um, I did enjoy seeing, um, Naruto... Well, before we get to that, I guess, uh, Bendy basically bought Naruto some time so he could speak to Killer B and uh, speak to the Biju. Come to find out they had this monster battle where uh, he did at one time inflict pain on the Rage Kage, right? Uh, but it was never spoke of. Nobody actually knew exactly what happened. And it was nice to see Naruto think on his toes. Uh, we don't see this a lot. And when, and when we do, it's extremely impressive. Because uh, Naruto's usually just, as you can see, you know, he just, the first scene that Naruto was there, he was just jumping in, doing whatever jutsu, never sitting back, maybe analyzing the situation, maybe uh, thinking about what his next move could possibly be, or think, thinking uh, three or, two, uh, or four moves ahead, like Kakashi, like Manito, uh, like your boy uh, Sasuke, always thinking about the next step. That's just not Naruto. So once this guy Bendy gave him the time to contact at HQ, to contact Killer B and uh, the Eight Tails, Naruto sat down, thought quickly, said, "Okay, I'm gonna try this. I think this is what happened." He was able to analyze that fight based off the of Killer B's information, like fast. Cause I was like, I wasn't thinking of that shit. The only thing, okay, I just wasn't thinking of it. I, I just wasn't thinking. Of it. Let, let's just let's just leave it at that. Um, so he was able to quickly analyze that fight situation, came up and formulated his own plan, went into Frog Kumite, um, and I'm thinking like, what the hell is Frog Kumite going to do? And of course he explained it, and I forgot that he does sense things, uh, uh, of sense danger on a wide range. That's not something they just came up with. That's something that he's been using since when he first used it in the pain battle, when he was like, I can sense everybody's chakra around me, where's Kakashi? And then that's when he found out he was dead. Or when he used it to hit one of um, Pain's guys with just like 
the back of his hand, but he really didn't touch him. So he's been used. He knows how to use Frog Kumite. He knows the dimensions, the depths of it. And it was quite surprising to see that it worked. Okay. Um, it wasn't, it didn't work because he had more power than the Rocket Kage. It worked because he outsmarted the Rocket Kage. And obviously, the Rocket Kage didn't have control over his own senses because if, if this was to happen, uh, since this happened against the Eight Tails, he would have came up with a defense to make sure that something like this would never happen again. But since he was in control by Kabuto, um, you know, you have to just assume the fact that, um, you know, he, he nothing was aware. He was fighting basically a dummy version of the old Rocket Kage, okay? So what he did was he used a, a basic ass move like the Rasen gun. I mean, it's not basic, you know, it's still a powerful move. He used a basic Rasen gun, dodged the spear or his finger, and just kind of used the Rasen gun on his on his uh you know on his fucking fucking elbow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And basically, he ended up hurting himself. Um, I love seeing Naruto able to think. That was a great moment. Loved it. Didn't take a lot. Didn't take the um, the power of the Nine Tails Chakra. He was able to completely do this on his own. Um, and I think that's what made it better than most. Um, and then we also got to see them go back to the fight with Anoiki and Gara. They showed the same thing they showed at the end of the last episode. So I really wanted to see the purpose of that. But we're gonna, I guess we're going to find out. The fight's going to transition back to there. We're going to see how this is going to uh, pan out. But do your thing below. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Did it really excite you to see Naruto do what he did uh, to this level without using his most powerful jutsu? He was able to freaking think. Uh, do your thing below. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And peace.